If you haven't done this before, that's okay. There's nothing to be afraid of. I'm gonna walk you through how to do it right. Taking apart a backflow for the first time can be kind of nerve wracking, but learning new things and trying something different is always a little scary. Also, I'll put a link below in the comments of where to find all these parts so you can order them when you need them. So what we've got here is a three quarter inch Febco 765 pressure vacuum breaker. So I'm gonna open this up and we'll take it all apart. So here we go. Here are the instructions. So we've got uh, the ball valve here, the second ball valve, the first ball valve. The water comes in from the bottom and then goes out according to that arrow. You've got the test port, test cock number one and two here. You've got the bell up here. This is the body. And then inside, we're gonna take a look at all the parts inside this Febco 765. So the first thing to do is you wanna remove this lock nut at the top. Off comes the lock nut. Off comes the bell. Now you've got the bonnet here. You can see it's nice and tight seal. This is brand new out of the box, obviously. But we're gonna take this apart so you can see everything inside of it. So you can remove it, you can use your hands, or you can use a specialty tool like this to remove it. Only use it to remove, don't use it to tighten it back on. So now that it's nice and loose, we can just take it off with our hands. see inside here it's got a o-ring on that then you have the poppet right here with the o-ring on that as well so then you can see down inside there there's some other parts and we'll get into that so now we've taken the bonnet off and the poppet assembly out you can see down inside and this is uh, that brass piece there it's called the retainer and it's just in there by pressure you can see there's a spring underneath. So if you push this and give it a twist, that retainer will come out. Let's see if we can twist this out here. There we go. So then this retainer comes out. It just has a, a clips there. Then you have a spring here. Then you have the check assembly here. These uh, can be brass, like this one, or they can be plastic, either way. Then you can see down inside the backflow, you can see the silver ball valve there. If you open it up, you can see it goes all the way through there. So that's basically the inside guts of the backflow. There's nothing else in there. You can see if you look through the ball valve here, you can see all the way through, and now it's shut. So that's basically all the guts of the 765. Now, to put it back together, make sure we put back everything in its place. So first, the check valve assembly. Make sure it drops down in there where it needs to go. Then the spring assembly. There's a little ridge on that check valve that you want to make sure that spring sets into. Putting the retainer back is a little trickier. There's the middle hole here with a ridge. That ridge will fit right on top of this spring. Like this, I'll show you. It fits like this, so it doesn't move anywhere. So make sure when you put the retainer back, the retainer on the spring here, it, you got it lined up. So the check valve is back in the right place. The spring is in the right place. Retainer clip. Now this ridge faces down. So get that. See that's in there. Push this in and twist. Like 
like so. As you can see it's clipped in there, it fits right into place on both sides. That's ready to go. Then you can set the poppet assembly straight down inside. And when you go to put the bonnet back on, make sure this piece, this brass piece, fits inside of that. Otherwise, so that poppet slides up and down. You hand tighten this. Don't use a tool to tighten this back down. Hand tighten only. There you go. Then you can put this back on and your lock nut. And that's the guts of the Fedco 765. Now these here are test cocks. I'm going to take these off. These plastic caps are just to protect uh, the threads, keeps things from getting inside. But these basically are just miniature ball valves inside here. So these you can take off. You can use a socket wrench <coughs> or a monkey wrench to take that off. I've got my trusty channel locks here. They will freeze and crack, and that just goes right inside. Same thing on this one. So you can see here, you can see that just a mini little ball valve in there. And this is a flathead screwdriver. See, now you can see through it. Now it's closed. So that's the basic components of a 765 backflow preventer. Hopefully this gives you some confidence to do it yourself. And in the next video, we're gonna talk about a different type of backflow made by Febco it's an 825Y. It's a reduced pressure backflow. So check out the next video and we'll get into it then. Thanks for watching.